Hi everybody, so this little video is going to show you how to use an app on your iPhone called Sketchbook to apply one of your patterns to a fashion item or a fashion figure. So the first thing you've got to do is you've got to check that you have put the picture of your pattern into your photos, which is okay. So there's my little pattern. And then you have to check that you have selected a garment, that could be a t-shirt or a dress, trousers, whatever you like. You have to make sure that that picture is in your photos as well. So before you start, you need your pattern uploaded into photos on your iPad and you need the dress shape or the outfit shape uploaded into your pictures, okay? Once you've made sure of that, you're going to look for the Sketchbook app. So if you haven't uploaded it already, that is quite a useful app. There it is there, it's a little pencil. So, I'm just gonna start from scratch here. Back. So ignore this bit. Okay, so that was me practicing before. So what you do first is open the sketchbook app and you should get a new page. If you don't get a new page, you click this little box at the top and you put new sketch and then create and that will get you the page okay so the first thing you're going to do is add your pattern so you go to this little bar on the top swish along until you see the little picture icon so it's two little mountains with a plus click on that that will take you to your photo gallery. You select the picture that you want or the pattern that you want. You can move it around, you can make it bigger. You can move the position of it. You can make it smaller, whatever you like, okay? It's up to you. You can make, put it in a diagonal, whatever you think is best, okay? Once you're happy with the size of your pattern and the position of your pattern, you go up to the top and you click done. Okay, so what you're now going to do is you're going to go and add your fashion figure. So you click the little icon with the picture on it. You find the dress or the t-shirt or the trousers or whatever you want select it and that will go on here so again if it's not the right size you can move it with your fingers and make it the right size okay when you're happy with that click done now what you now need to do is you need to be able to rub out the black area of that dress so that your pattern shines through. So if you think about the fact that you've got your dress on the top, you've got your pattern underneath, okay, you're gonna rub out some of the top area so that your pattern shines through. So the easiest thing to do is click the little picture. So this is your layers down the side. So click on your dress or your t-shirt. This is going to um, make it a bit see-through. So this little slide bar here, if you slide that along, it means you can see your pattern underneath. Okay? You don't need to slide it so that it disappears completely, just maybe about halfway. Okay? That means you can see your pattern underneath and you can see what you're doing. So what you now need to do is rub out the 
black area of the dress. Or if you've picked a white dress or a green dress, let's just say the coloured part. So you go over here and you want to pick the rubber. So that's your rubber tool. Select that. Okay. You can change the size of the rubber by sliding this about. Okay. You can change the pressure and so on. I like to keep it relatively small so that I can get into all the details. So click your size and then you're going to start rubbing out. So it's easier if you go like this and you make it a little bit bigger so you can see what you're doing. Once you're ready, you can start to rub out. Okay, so probably start with a, quite a big size of rubber to get the main areas rubbed out. Maybe a little bit bigger than that. I don't want to go too big. And it really, you should be going a little bit slower than this. I'm doing this in a hurry. Partly because I've put very little patience and partly because I just want you to get on with your experiments. Okay, so you do it a little bit more carefully than I'm doing, doing it. Now you will notice that I am not using an eye pencil or an eye pen. I'm not using a stylus. If you've got these things, then yes, of course you can use them, but I'm just assuming that most people are not going to have like a hundred pound eye pencil in their house. So I'm doing this using, you know, just my fingers because that's what most people will have. So if you're lucky enough to have a high, an eye pen, great. If not, you'll just have to do what I'm doing. Okay, so you can use a large size of rubber to get the main areas. Okay, you can move that around. And then, if you want to, say you've got a hand or something in the way, or a neck, make sure you pick a very small rubber size so that you can get around all the edges and the details. And then you can go back to a slightly bigger one. So, it, uh, it does take a little bit of time. There might be a quicker way of doing this, but this is the easiest way to do it. So I'm just showing you this technique first. So the key thing is, remember, when you're rubbing out, you're only rubbing out the garment. So you're only rubbing out the actual fabric of the dress or the t-shirt or the top or the suit or whatever you're doing. Okay. So. So you're not rubbing out the skin, the face. If you don't like the hairstyle, you can rub out the hair. You know, if you want the hair to go behind the shoulder, you could do if you want. Um, but you're not rubbing out anything except for the actual outfit, okay? Once you think you have rubbed it all out, you go back to the picture, which is in the top, so that's your dress, and you put the opacity back up, and that will show you what your pattern is going to look like on your fashion outfit. Once you're happy with that idea, you go over here, click on one of your layers and what you want to do is you want to merge the two together to make one photograph. So there's two options. If you've only got two layers, you can just click merge. Okay. There's my cat meowing in the background there. And once you've done that, that's you finished, you can save that idea. So you go back up to this little list at the top. Okay. And you want to press share. 
So once you press share, you can then go to save image and that will save your image to your photos. And once you've done that, you can try another idea. So go back there, you can just press new sketch, create. You don't need this one any longer because you've already saved it. Discard and that will give you a blank screen and you can then start again. Okay, so you go up to photos, pick your photo. Maybe this time I'm going to make it going in a different direction. The other thing you can do if you want to create a little repeat pattern is you can so make, make that photograph quite small. Add another one. You should already have a repeat pattern. So what I would recommend that you do is you uh, put one of your repeat patterns into your photos and then it saves you having to do this. Okay, when you're happy, press done. If you want another one, you can press that down here. And twiddle about with it until you're happy. So this is if you want a smaller pattern, but you should already have a little repeat pattern. Okay, once you've done that and you're happy with it, happy with the position, press done. Now what you can do at this stage is merge all of these and that makes them into the one picture. Once you've got that done, go up here, add your dress or your outfit. Okay, press done. Click on that. Move this so that you can see through. Okay, and then you get your rubber, whatever size you want your rubber to be. And yes, Puss, can you get out of the way? Thank you. And you start rubbing it. Okay. When you're ready, you think, oh, that's happened. That's perfect the way it is. Put the opacity back up. Actually, that's quite interesting. Just having a little bit of your pattern shining through. And once you've done that, go up to the little list at the top. Oh, hang on, I forgot to merge it. So click that. Merge. Go back up to the little list. Share. Save your image. And that will save that to your photographs and that should get two ideas. Okay, so have a go with this and see how you get on. You can try uh, different patterns that you've made underneath. You don't have to keep going with the, the same one. You can try a range of patterns. But what I would do is I would stick to the same type of garment. So if you have picked um, this type of dress, then I would put your fabric on the same type of dress. If you've picked um, a particular shape of jacket, then I would put your pattern on that particular shape of jacket. So I would move the pattern about. Uh, you can change the colours of the pattern, not on this um, particular app, on the free phone apps. Um, but change the placement of the pattern, but I would not probably go too mad with using all different shapes and sizes of um, garments, okay? So I'm going to say bye for now. I would like you to have a go at this and see how you go on.